Hi everybody, Erica here, and I thought I'd start out um, actually looking at you today instead of just my hands. Um, I returned yesterday afternoon from on stage in uh, Salt Lake City, and it was amazing, as always, uh, getting to be with my friends from all over the world, not even just the United States, but all over the world, really is what makes those events amazing. Hi, Robin. Um, it, there were lots of surprises, um, which is always fun. Of course, we got to uh, see the new catalogs, and I'm going to show you just the front of the new occasions catalog. I'm not allowed to show you the inside, but I also want to remind you that this catalog, we have two months really until it goes live. So, um, oh, thanks, Jessica. So, um, I'm going to show you just because I know you guys are curious and you want to see it. I'm going to show you what I was able to pre-order. Um, but please keep in mind that this is not available until January 4th, I believe. I haven't even looked. I think, oh, January 3rd. Um, but it's fun to see a sneak peek of what's coming in the spring. Um, and I know you guys are curious. So here it is. And look at, <laughs> look at mine. It is awful. It's been like torn to shreds. But this is the cover of the new Occasions catalog that will come out January 3rd, 2018. Um, it's very springy. It's very classic stamping up. It's beautiful. Um, and I love it. I mean, what's there not to love, right? And then also, if you don't know, Celebration is January, February, and March. And Celebration are the three months when Stamping Up has a separate catalog of free things that you get with your purchase. And so here's that catalog. That will be also January 3rd. And there are things in here that are free with a $50 purchase. And then there are some things that are free with a $100 purchase. So that's a little bit different this year. So that's what they look like. We are not allowed to show you the inside of the catalogs at all. Um, but I can show you some of the things that I got and some of the things that uh, we were able to order. We um, get this brochure called the Product Purchase Premier. Um, and so anybody who's actually at, um, hi Loretta, thank you. Uh, anybody that's at on stage gets to order from here. And it's not everything in those catalogs. It's a few collections of things. So of course I ordered them and I... Um, had to rush them, had to rush the shipping because I needed something for an event that I have tonight. So um, I just included it all and uh, splurged on the rush ship. Okay, so um, before, I, before I do that, I wanted to just say that um, last Facebook Friday, not this last Friday, thank you, Patricia, um, I'm glad you're here um, because last Facebook Friday, I was giving away two sets of the new blends, um, but I didn't have Facebook Friday this past Friday to announce them, so I'm gonna announce them today. And look, Patricia, it's your name. You got the pumpkin pie blends, and PJ, who's not even in the country right now, she's on a trip. PJ, you're gonna get these too. So congratulations, you guys. I am gonna have a giveaway today too, so make sure you're watching, okay? Hi, Patty. Okay, you're not getting any video, only comments. Keep trying. Mm -hmm, that's weird. Close it and reopen it. You guys tell her, close it and reopen it. I know, Patricia, that's exciting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my phone around. There's no easy way to do this. It's going to be awkward and jumbly and weird for just a few minutes. Not even minutes, a few seconds. So close your eyes if that makes you kind of sick, okay? So I'm going to flip it around. You're going to see all my stuff. I'm going to take you out of the holder and turn you around. You can see all my stuff down here. I have to get my um, phone holder situated. I see a lot of people who are able to do this all smooth, but I'm not very smooth. I'm just going to just do it. All right, so now that I've shook you around, let me show you some things. You've seen these catalogs. All right, you know what? Give me a sec. I want to turn on my iPad and make sure that I can see that you guys are seeing okay. Um, oh, I can still just see me. Okay, ooh, okay, there we go. All right, I need to move you up a little bit so you don't see my feet. There we go. All right, so when, when you go to a, a Stampin' Up! event, it's just for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. There's lots of free stuff, which everybody loves. But again, I'm telling you, the best part is being with all your people, all your friends, 
My friends are from all over Canada, Arkansas, Michigan, Kansas City. My close friends, we just had way too much fun. My downline came, which was even the best part. I had lots of downline from all over the place. So the first thing that we get when we get there is we get this a bag, and this is the bag that we got. It's really cute. It's, I think, Fresh Fig and Tangerine Tango and Emerald Envy. And you can see it's a really good messenger bag. And inside, we all had this cute little coffee cup. I don't drink coffee, but I'm going to use it for pens and markers, of course. It's so cute. And thank you guys, thank you. Um, and then you get an envelope that has your name badge in it, and it has pens. This was our, um, they do prize patrol, which you know is just like a drawing for prizes. So my number was two, everybody had a different one. And um, these are some, some, I put some of my pens on here, some things that I'm proud of, just to kind of jazz it up. And I made um, lanyards for my team this year, which were really, really cute. I hope they like them. Um, and so you have your name badge and then you get um, ribbons for your achievements. So title, sales, flex points, which is um, how we earn the incentive trip. Recruiting Leadership Center Stage, which was um, an extra, um, depending on your title, there was um, like a rewards dinner and a, and a leadership training, so that's what that was. And then the two amazing surprises that I got to be number 17 um, in the United States, which totally rocked my world. I am not an emotional person, and I'm not a crier, but that one made me cry. Um, and then Global Top 100, which I was blessed to be in last year. I was number 68, but this year I moved up to number 31, which I'm very proud of, out of about 50,000 demonstrators. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revel in that for a little while. You guys helped me get there. All of you who've placed an order, who've ordered my classes, all, my team. So thank you guys. I Really, there aren't words to, to explain what that feels like um, when you have quit your full-time job to do this as a full-time job and know that, that you did the right thing. Um, it feels pretty good. Okay, so let me get that out of the way. Um, also in our bag was this cute little note, notebook. They always give us these notebooks, which I love. I use to make lists and stuff. Um, I took notes in that. Um, and these pens, which normally I don't care, but these are like super amazing and they don't look like they're going to be super amazing, but they write so good. So that was in there. Um, we got a 30th year pen. This is Stampin' Up's 30th year. Um, and then let's see what else. Um, we got a paper pumpkin collapsible trash can in one of the um, classes that we went to, which is fun. Everybody loves collapsible trash cans. And you guys, I'm going to give this one to you. I'm going to give this away. Um, that's going to be my giveaway this week, along with my bag. If you guys are interested in this bag, it's so cute. I have a hundred bags, you guys. And so I just would rather give it away so that it doesn't sit in my closet with the bags that I'm not using. So today, well, some point tonight, probably I'm going to post on my blog and I'll have a raffle copter um, for these two things, the collapsible trash can and the bag. So make sure you hop over there. I'll post on Facebook too to let you know. Um, oh, I thought I'd show you this too. When you are recognized, um, in the you know top performing um, categories or global 100 you get these uh, these charms and um, they are so cute and they have they even I just think it's so nice when something is engraved has my initials and my my placement and stuff so I'm gonna try to find a, a bracelet because I have charms from the the two years I did artisan also and I thought you know what I need to start a Stampin' Up bracelet okay now I know you guys are like show us the goods we want to see the stuff. Uh, okay, I'll show you. All right, so it's hard to see these out of context when you don't see the catalog. Um, but they're so cute, and the products that go with them are so cute. So this was what was in our bag when we got there. Picture perfect birthday. These make like um, birthday, you know, the, the, you know, the things that blow out. What are those called? Um, horns? I don't know, whatever. But it's a birthday set. Here's a lovely wishes. Um, when did we get this? I don't remember. We got this one day, and I can't remember why we got it. Maybe just a giveaway. This was a um, prize patrol. Um, this one goes with some really cool um, coloring tools that are coming out, um, which I'll talk more about in the spring. This is one we got at our leadership event, and it's so cute. I actually 
started messing around with it yesterday, coloring it with my blends. Oh, and this one is from something else I'll show you in a second. Where are the other ones? Isn't that pretty? I, um, I love to use these blends, and I just think that these were great. I couldn't wait to, you know, we've been talking about it all weekend. Party blues, you're right, Crystal. We've been talking about... All weekend we were talking about products. I just needed to like get my hands busy. Here's what those other ones are for. Um, the Mermaid, the Night Dragon, the suite of products that goes with this. There's framelits and paper, and it's just so cute. So, so cute. I can't wait. I didn't have time to color all of them, but I'll continue to work on them, and I'll share them with you. Okay, so let's see. Where else? What else do I want to show you? Um... This is a new kit that's coming out, and you guys, I don't know any of the names. I don't know any of the names, and it would say, let's see if it says on that paper that I just threw away. No, I don't know. It's a kit, but the thing about this kit that I love is that it has two new colors of watercolor pencils. Um, it has Flirty Flamingo and Lemon Lime Twist, and it comes with four full-size watercolor pencils. That's pretty amazing. The stamps, the ink, and all these cute little cards that are in here. So that's one of our new kits in the box alone. Hello. It's very cute. Um, okay, so let's, let me show you this suite of products. Petal Palette, I guess it's what it's, is what it's called. Here is one stamp set. It's big, so um, it comes in two cases. And then there are some embossing folder, some thin lids. I haven't even opened you guys. It just came a little while ago. Here's the card that we made. Um, and I actually turned my paper over. Um, the, the sample was the backside. But this paper that goes with this is all black and white, um, which I am probably going to use, use to death. I just love it. You can see it's just all black and white. Oh, look at that. I didn't even, I haven't even looked at it, you guys. I saved it for you. And a black and white stripe, pretty much, a black and white stripe and a black and white polka dot, pretty much my favorite papers ever. There's also um, some little, little jewels, not jewels, little, what are they called? What are they called? Petal Passion Embellishments. See like that? No, the trash can, I believe, is just, um, we can use our flex points for it, you guys. It's not available to customers, but I um, can let them know you guys want it. Um, this is the ribbon that goes with that suite. It's organza. It reminds me of the ribbon we had. I don't know, maybe last year. It was much whiter. Look how pretty that is. White ribbon is the best to have. Um, and then memories and more pockets. I mean pockets. Uh, cards. They are all black and white. I think. Also, Petal Passion. It goes with this suite of products. Um, let's see. Yeah, see? Oh, they've got some pink in there too. That's really cute. So those will be good. I um, use our Memories and More cards not for what they're intended for, which is memory keeping. I like to use them for our tags and cards and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that's the Petals and More suite. Um, okay, this is my favorite stamp set in the new catalog. And if you know me, you'll know why. I am addicted to Diet Coke, so I'm going to make a ton of little soda bottles. And, you know, it could be other bottles, too. But for me, it's going to be soda bottles. It's called Bubble Over. And it's so cute. Framelits to match. Here's the card we made, our make and take card. Look at these little clear dot, dot things. I don't know what they're called. Here they are. Glitter and clear epoxy shapes. Look how tiny they are. And then you have little raindrops and little clear circles. So cute, a straw. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then the paper that goes with it is actually celebration paper. Like last year we had the um, hot air balloon paper that coordinated with the hot air balloon stamps and framelits. So they did it again this year. And this will be the paper that you can get for free um, with a $50 order. So if you bought you know, the bundle and maybe like an accessory, then you get the paper for free. Right, cheery. I think this will probably be one of my very first classes. I'll do a Valentine's class early in January, and then it'll probably be this, just because I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It's the best. I love bright, bold colors, you guys know. Um, okay, so then the next one is so cute. It's called Fruit Basket, and here are our make and takes, these little 
um, tags and it probably this was the best part of the making take you see the little like hole here well that's actually a watermelon punch they used it to make the little hole these are all tiny little punches and there's four of them. Here are the punches. They come together like this and they coordinate with the fruit basket set. I love this. And you can definitely count on a class using this. Um, but who doesn't love a punch? I mean, come on. And they're tiny and they're so, so cute. Um, so this has coordinating products, of course. Paper, which is six by six. This will be great for summer and for late spring. It's bright again, stamping up, I, oh, look at that. Stamping up new, they said, Sirwin needs bright papers, let's get on it. Look at that, oh my gosh, love it. Watermelon, oh my gosh, there's more black and white, hooray. Good, I love black and white paper. Oh, and the polka dots, oh my gosh. Okay, so that goes with that, and then there's this ribbon, which is similar to um, the striped ribbon that we had, the in color ribbon that we had, except that it's thinner and it's very um, light and it will tie well and it will not bulk up your cards. I know the pineapple punch crystal, I know it's just cute. There's washi tape that goes with it and these, which I think everybody was talking about, they are sequins that already have the glue dot on the back. So you just, you don't have to like you know how it is when you pour out sequins and you're trying to glue them on. These already have the adhesive on the back, so it's going to be so brilliant. Um, oh my gosh, I'm seeing your comments, and I forgot to print out the paper about the Stamparatus. I'm sure you guys have seen it already on my Facebook page. The Stamparatus is a new stamp positioning tool that you guys are going to compare to the Misty. It is leaps and bounds beyond beyond the misty if you haven't watched that video that i posted this morning go watch it um it has plates that flip um so you have basically have four stamping surfaces and they're interchangeable you can move them up you can move them down um it'll be great for two-step stamping three-step stamping background stamps they even showed how you can die cut a bunch of shapes and then put them on and put the stamp and just go real quickly and like stamp all your shapes which would save time it is Great, so that is going to be a pre order. They're doing it very different this time. They're calling it, um, I guess, reserve like you reserve your product, and they're going to order that many. And it's not going to be, I don't think, until February when we'll get our first round of them. But this Thursday, you can go ahead and get on the list, um, right away. So it'll cost it's $49 in the United States. Um, which is, I think, very reasonable for what you're getting. I expected it actually to be higher than that. Um, I have had the honor of working on a, a very large committee of demonstrators who um, helped to design this. And I mean, I think it's been three, maybe even four years that we've been um, working on it. And they, they have just painstakingly gone through all these steps to make it perfect. And this stamp set right here is actually what they used um, with the stamp apparatus to show us how it worked. Um, it You stamp these different colors in here. I don't know, they just made it look really cool. I don't have, nobody has a stamp apparatus yet. Demonstrators can't order it um, until Thursday also. We won't get it until you guys get it. Those of us that were on the committee, the design committee will get it a little bit earlier, but I don't, I mean, I'm thinking maybe like two days earlier. Um, but um, everybody will um, be getting access to it on Thursday. And they said it's limited supply, so the reservation window will close when they've reached their limit. And then they'll open it again in December, and I think again in January. The dates are all listed there. Um, I guess maybe I need to link you to that page because I didn't do that. But there will be three different um, reservation periods. So if you really, really want it, I would suggest that you... Um, get up early on Thursday morning and reserve yours. You have to leave your credit card information, but you won't be charged until it ships. Um, you know what, after this video, you guys, I'll go po post all the details. I um, just posted the video and did not post those specifics. And I'm sorry, I um, was just so excited about everything this morning. Okay, so let me move on. Um, I have to be done in time to pick my kids up, you guys. Don't let me forget to go pick my kids up. Um, here's a stamp, uh, Valentine stamp set. It is, um, there's another one too that has a bunch of hearts that's really cute. And you guys know how much I love to do Valentine treat um, 
Valentine treats in the Valentine treat class. And this does this really cool, these are the framelits that go with it. It's a box that you can make, but I'm like seeing all kinds of stuff with this. So stay tuned. I know we're not even to Thanksgiving, so let's not really even go there yet because I, whew, I haven't even begun to, to think about, you know, Christmas for my family. So I can't even think about Valentine's Day other than paper crafting, which I always work way ahead. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so this sweet, this is, this sweet has a lot of stuff in it. Look, it's called um, Cake Soiree. It's a birthday sweet. You can see how it's two step stamping here that I keep wanting to call it a Stamposaurus, you guys. Somebody this weekend said Stamposaurus to me, you know, like the dinosaur. And I cannot stop calling it that. So whoever that was, I'm mad at you because I can't call it the right name. Stamparatus is the right name. So these, this will be great for the Stamparatus. These little things are like the little pick, you know, like the, the plastic pick you would put at the top of the cake that says the words. I thought that was cute. I thought that was pretty clever. So there's that. The paper that goes with it looks like this and it's specialty paper because it has the um shiny and it has the embossed raised surface i mean it's all kinds of fancy um two each Ooh, look at that wedding or birthday or bridal shower um shiny shiny oh i love stripes yay he's more stripes and that oh that's cute that could be very like a wintry card too um, you can tell, I mean, I just am looking at this stuff with you guys right now. Cute. Very cute. Very girly. Very feminine. Cute. Um, and then here's our make and take we did with this. These are called gable boxes. I'm sure you guys have seen these gable boxes before. Um, well, guess what? Stampin' Up! is selling them in stacks. Let's see how many. 12 in a package. How awesome is that for party favors and for treats and stuff i love a pre-made treat holder it really simplifies things um oh they're framelits that go with that stamp set too um let's see there's also oh okay this is really cool so embossing paste which you guys by the way i know that you want to learn more about the embossing paste i have some things planned for the spring some technique um, classes that's going to include embossing paste um, so stay tuned this they we have just regular matte white embossing paste in the regular catalog but in this catalog they have silver embossing paste and shimmery white embossing paste do I dare open this you guys don't laugh if I make a giant mess let's see I'm gonna just pierce it and see oh yeah see how it's like it's silver cool I don't want to open it too much because I don't want to if I mess it up and then and then I don't have access to it anymore if I let it dry or something, I'm gonna leave it nice and sealed up good. All right, so there's that and though now I have silver embossing paste all over me. Um, new um what do you call these masks to use with the embossing paste. New twine, silver twine, silver and white twine. You know I love my twine. Here's um sweet soiree embellishment kit. Look, the clothespins. Just for anything else, I have to buy it for the cute white clothespins. Some tassels, some ribbons, some washi, some numbers, and I believe there's like stickers and stuff. Like, um, or maybe they're, you know, um, die cut shapes. Pretty. Oh, they just really match the paper. Oh, wow. Look, vellum. So pretty. So pretty. So I ordered all this, and I am not going to have time to play with it anytime soon. I um, have two events this week and a big retreat this weekend. So you guys don't expect me to be posting all kinds of projects and stuff. I won't get to it and for a while. Plus, you can't order it, and that's frustrating anyway. I don't want to be taunting you with... Well, I can't get this open. Here it is right here. This is this ribbon. Um, I don't want to be taunting you with things that you can't order, which is what I'm doing exactly right now. I apologize. <laughs> but I know you want to see it. Berry Burst is the color. I thought it was Melon Mambo, but it says Berry Burst. Um... Embo uh, one of these thick embossing folders, scattered sequins. How cute. Oh, to go with all those sequins. And then this was interesting. It came and it's so big. Um, it's little, you know, the crinkly paper to go in here. And there's three colors in there. Goodness, that is like huge. I love it. That'll go a long way. 
Those are great. You know, you could get these at the store, but are they going to match your color exactly? No. If you buy it with your paper, then you know it's going to match your ribbon and your paper exactly. I love it. Okay, so let me put all this away. And then I'm going to show you. We um, could get, there were six different celebration things that we could order. Um, and celebration, again, is what you get for free when you spend $50 or $100. Um, but again, guys, not till when? Do you guys remember the date? January 3rd. Not until January 3rd. So don't get all excited. This is a long time from now. So here's Beautiful Peacock. That's a free choice. I really like this um, flourish right here. This one is one of the $100 choices. When you spend $100, this is one. See how it's much bigger? It's a two, um, two package deal. And there's framelits that coordinate with it. It's so awesome. Here's one that everybody's going to love. This is going to be everybody's favorite. The pandas. Look, you don't even have to color him. Gotta love that. He's cute. My daughter used to be obsessed with pandas. And pandas. Now she just rolls her eyes at me. I know. I showed her look and she was like, Ann, whatever. I still like them. Um, lots of lavender. This is one of those like, you know, where you stamp in the colors. Um, or you could even use your watercolor pencils. And then this is the Tutti Fruity cards and envelopes, which I really was impressed with. Um, they match that, they coordinate with that fruit paper that I showed you a minute ago. Do you guys rip your packages with your fingernails like me? Hi, Angela, my buddy. Um, yeah, I ruin my nails that way a ton. Look at how cute they are. So cute. So cute. You guys, Ange was... I don't know, what were you, number nine in Canada? And like, like she rocked it. She did so good. She's my crazy friend that you see in all my pictures. Okay, so so that's it with the products. Don't leave yet, though, because I have some things, some other things to show you. Um, I did an organized swap, which means you sign up, um, and then you know who you're going to be swapping with. And so here is my swap card. I posted that last night on my blog. And um, I think I might do this on our Facebook Friday. On Friday, I'm not sure. I can't think past today yet, but um, we might make that card. Um, and there were just some really pretty cards through here. Some of them have names. Some of them don't. Oh, that's my downline Heather, and she had them in all different colors. Of course, I had to pick the pink. Crazy Canuck. Yes, I know. I'm in withdrawal, too. Look at this guy. Isn't it beautiful? Somebody, whoever made this, did 50 of them. This is Selena Morali. Gorgeous. That, this simple card took me hours to make 50 of them. This, I can't even imagine. Had to have taken like weeks. Beautiful. Oh, here's Ange, Ange's card right here. My friend Ange from Canada. Look, she colored 50 of those with the blends. She is crazy. But look how beautiful. I'm glad she did. This one I really like. Jennifer Hill used the wood grain paper to make like a plank wall. You guys know that is so popular. I want to do that. There's a room in my house that I really want to do, but I don't trust my husband enough to that he would make it look good. <laughs> he says he can. He sells wood, you guys. That's his job. They sell shiplap. That's part of their, their line, and I just don't let, trust him enough to do it. But this, Jennifer, you did an amazing job. You could come do my wall. You did a really good job. Super cute. Okay, so then there's this one, which I love this set, and I've only used it once. It has all those matching framelits. This is Miriam Permu. Guys, if I butcher your name, if you're watching, I apologize. Gorgeous. This one I really like. So this is that um, thing that everybody's doing called Eclipse, where you cut out the letters from the image and then you pop it up. But she like added a bunch of glitter to it. And this is a hostess set. Who is this? Tina Zink. Isn't that gorgeous? Very nice. Very nice. This is awesome. This one I had to laugh. I was like, hey, we were thinking the same. Like our colors are the same pretty much. It's very pretty. This is Pam, Pam Staples. Pam's on here sometimes. Isn't that beautiful? And that, gosh, you guys are way good. I don't take that much time on my swaps, unfortunately. I know I shouldn't admit that. Okay, this one. Hi, Sandy. This one 
is, look at that background. I think that's the shaving cream where you put shaving cream, you put some ink, and you swirl it around, and then you lay your uh, paper right down on the shaving cream. That's amazing. This is, oh, Hillary Sosby. I recognize your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Um, here's one where they use the embossing paste and a bunch of glitter. Very cute. Hi, Kay. I see you. Um, here's the stamp set. Kay's my other friend, you guys, that you saw in some of my pictures. She's from Arkansas. Um, this is the stamp set they brought out with the blends that goes with the kit and those lanterns. Lanterns are so trendy right now. I've been seeing them a lot. If you follow Heidi Swap on Instagram, she's been in, um over like in Thailand and she's posting pictures of, of lanterns and how she's obsessed with them. So I bet her next, her next line at Michael's will probably include lanterns. Here's one that's beautiful. Somebody did a great job coloring. This is, um, Jesse Chancy Higginbotham. I didn't say who this was. Oh, that's Rhonda, my friend Rhonda. Rhonda's the other person in all my pictures these days. Erica only has two friends. Ha ha. No, I have four friends. I have four. I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> okay, um, this one, Kay, what does this remind you of? Kay and I did a big event last spring, at the last on stage where we used these guys. And every time I see them, that's what I think about our event. I loved this card because of the colors. This is Nicole Lowe. Beautiful. I need to pull that. I love that stamp set. Here's the piggy. If Tina watches, Tina, this is for you. I know you love the pig. So cute. Michelle Hornbeck. I think that's, no, I don't know Michelle. Maybe I do know. You guys, I'm terrible with names. This one is Bryn Thornbro. She's on here sometimes too. Bryn, beautiful. I love that. And look at this one. I'm not using this folder enough. That's what this card tells me. I'm not using this folder. Isn't this beautiful? By the way, all of this is from, all of these swaps are from the annual catalog. That was the rule with this swap, was to use annual catalog things because by the time we get back and have opportunity to use them, um, you know, cr Christmas will be close and we wanted to be able to use them for the rest of the year, not just when the holiday catalog, till the holiday catalog was over. But anyway, beautiful. This is Hattie Walker Nelson. I talked to Hattie she did an awesome retreat and I was asking her all about it. And I was Googling her and trying to find things that she had done. And look, Kay, are you on here still, Kay? Kay did an amazing job. She colored so many sloths that her marker went dry. So we now know the life of a marker is about 50 sloths. <laughs> so that's a lot of sloths. You are way better than I am, Kay. I would have lost patience after number three, probably. But isn't that adorable? It's so cute, Kay Cogbill. And then the last one I pulled out, and I just pulled some of them, but this guy, who who is this? Oh, her name's not on here. I remember saying... I can't believe you did all of that. That's gold embossing. And then those are colored. Isn't that gorgeous? And she did the embossing paste, which is messy and, you know, time consuming. So that is a beautiful card. Okay, so there's just some of the swaps, not even all of them, just some of them. And then I, that was in the organized swap. And then I have to show you a few other things that I got. This is from my downline Lisa, who I roomed with. She made this on the gift bag punch board. And look, she used all Christmas products, but it's not Christmas, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying about this paper. It can just like continue on throughout the rest of the year. It's gonna carry you through. Um, think about it with red for Valentine's Day. Think about it in the summer. Um, it's just, it's, it's good because it's a neutral. Um, but she said, she put lots of little junk in here for me that I don't need to eat. Um, but I think some of it's already missing. I don't know how that happened. Um, <laughs> she made the bag, the gift bag, on the gift bag punch board. And then she made the lid to go on it. I told her I was going to copy it. So you guys will see that in a future project, Facebook Live or something. Because I loved that. It's very cool. Um, okay, now I have a few other things. Oh, wait. Lisa also made this, which I thought was hilarious. This is a cell phone holder for your desk. See, it's one of those little tiny wood um, 
easels and then she used this cell phone I can't remember text me is that what it's called that stamp set it's so cute look and it can just sit there and it holds your phone while you're working I I need to leave that out because I need to put my phone on it that is so cute so smart Lisa um, and then I got okay here are a few more and I don't know um, Lisa Brigger this was cute Look, the coffee set, but she just used the lid, and inside it's just paper folded in half, and inside are probably chocolate-covered espresso beans. Super cute. Very cute. I'm a girl who loves a, three, a good 3D project. Now, this one I liked a lot because it's just a bag. It's not going to take you very long. Um, and then you can just make a cute tag, and she cut that paper out of the... Um, the DSP very cute and I don't know I don't have her name but thank you whoever it was I love that project this is another one from my downline um, Tiffany who lives in Washington State Tiffany are you watching I think you were on here we all lost our minds when she showed us these so she got these lanterns she said at Dollar Tree or one of the dollar stores and they were Halloween lanterns I think is that right, Tiffany, if you're here, correct me. But then she turned them into Christmas. Look, she put the little cutout houses on the inside, and she embossed the vellum paper. And then she used just some fancy, you know, ribbon and our little, um, what are these called, sprigs, green sprigs, and just glued them on and made a tag. How cute is that? I am jealous that I didn't think of that because it is so, so, so cute. So, Tiffany, if you're on here, tell us where you got the lanterns. Um, one more, um, little cute thing that I got. This is from, oh, from Lisa Brigger, too. She gave me both of these. Lisa Brigger, I can't tell. Brigger, I think. It's kind of wiped off. Um, but look how cute. So she took a, a cork and turned it into, like, a keychain. The best wines are the ones we drink with friends. So she colored it and laminated it. How cute. Right? I mean, that's cute. That could even just be a tag that you put on a bottle of wine that you give somebody. Um, I thought that was really cute. So good job, Lisa. I like both of those. Okay, now I have to show you. Um, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I have to show you a gift that I got. And if she's on here, she's going to be, she's going to have to claim this. Sue um, knows me well because she knows that I lose my framelits every time I do Facebook Friday and somebody maybe it's her I don't remember but somebody said you need one of those things where you can just throw your framelits on like a mechanic has I guess they have some magnet things where they just throw their pieces on well look what she brought me she made me one it's just a frame with some heavy uh, magnet on it magnet sheet and my name oh like I almost cried and I you know I'm not a crier but you guys this weekend I don't know what happened. I was super emotional. But that, thank you so much, Sue. I really loved that. And I thought that was very thoughtful of you to bring that all the way to Salt Lake City for me. Okay, so that's it. Um, I do want to tell you before we go that I have another class, another Christmas class, just kind of a last minute thing that I'm doing. I had planned on it being part of my retreat and it didn't work out. Um, so I'm just going to offer it as a standalone class. Um, when I can actually get my stuff listed online. I have the whole thing typed up, did all that on the plane. I just need to find the time to list it and price it out and everything. Um, but it's like a home decor piece. I saw something, a big wooden sign that was similar to this at I don't know, one of the local stores for Christmas. And I was like, I can make that with our paper. So um, it'll be pretty low cost. It's going to include the paper. And I can't remember, that may just be it, I can't remember, just the paper. Um, so anyways, be on the lookout for that. It'll be a quick turnaround because you guys will need it soon because uh, it's already the middle of November. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd let you know that. And that's it. Okay, so make sure at some point today, but probably more likely tomorrow, go over to my blog. I'll have a raffle copter. I'm going to give away the bag and the fun trash can. Is that weird that I'm giving a trash can away as a prize? I think it would be cool. I think everybody would like a pop-up trash can. Um, so I'll list those. Um, there'll be a raffle copter where, you're, where you will enter. And I am, I am going. I'm counting on doing Facebook Friday this Friday. I want to do it. Um, so if 
hopefully I'll have my act together and have everything ready on Friday for you, um, three, three new projects, and then I'll announce the winners of that. So, so as soon as I post it, make sure you guys go over there and enter. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have questions, and be watching for more um, information as we get closer. Oh, you know what? Let me mention one thing. This catalog, I told you, if you can remember, it's not available till, do you guys remember? January 3rd. Except if you're a demonstrator. If you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you're going to have access to this probably December 1st, some December 1st, 2nd, something around there. You'll have access to it a whole month early. And so if that's you, if you really want some things out of here and you don't want to wait until January, buying the starter kit will give you access to this. And if you buy the starter kit during December, you will have access to get these things in your starter kit. It's only $99 and you get $125 of product of your choice for $99 plus free shipping. So if that's something you're interested in or you're just inspired by this event on stage and you think that you want to go to the next one, let me know and I will send you some information. Um, being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator has changed my life exponentially and um, I don't know, I just can't, I just can't stress enough how much this um, this company means to me and what it's done for me. Um, yeah, I bought the kit for the discount and, and look what it's turned into. So um, there's no shame in buying it for the discount. I think pretty much all of us did. Um, and if that's you and you just haven't asked me about it yet, ask me and I, uh, I'll i share you some informa information with you. And, and if you want to do it in December, you'll be able to shop from this catalog with your starter kit. Okay, I swear, I'm done now. You guys, I have to go pick my kids up from school. Have a great one. And I will see you hopefully on Friday. Bye.